Okay, welcome back. Back in the garage, working on the car again. Started this episode a couple days ago, and I just didn't have the energy that day. I must have just not been with it. So we're gonna try this again. Um, so you saw in the last episode, we started wiring up for our Holly uh, Terminator. I'm still waiting on a bulkhead fitting because I wasn't happy with how it's gonna go in. So I ordered a bulkhead fitting, go through the firewall. So we're gonna just be done with the wiring for now. We'll come back in a later episode when that bulkhead fitting comes in and then we'll mount our Terminator underneath the dash and everything. So um, I went ahead and purchased a, get the part number. It's a, Throttle body cable bracket from Holly. So, uh, if you guys want to know, it's a 20 112. Uh, that works with this intake, with this throttle body, with the fuel rails. Uh, I actually went up to a local store and that was one of the parts that I really wanted to look at before I purchased it and take some measurements off of it because it's kind of a guess if it fits or not. So, um, it does work with this setup, so if you guys are interested in it, that does that bracket does work with this setup. So um, I'm gonna insert the footage here of me installing it. Okay, so first on the agenda, we're gonna go with this, uh, this uh, Sniper EFI installation kit. All it does is gives you the studs and everything to mount that uh, throttle body that we got on there. So. Go ahead and throw this in and get our Holly uh, throttle cable bracket put on there. Perfect. And that's it, fully completed. So nice return springs. Got our throttle cable hooked up. Um, a bracket is coming in for my Turbo 350 uh, kick down cable, but that takes care of that. So next on the agenda tonight, um, we're gonna work on our manifolds. Uh, was leaning towards going to the Hooker Blackheart headers um, the cast manifolds that they make, um, just to keep it a little bit factory, but to save on a little bit of budget and to show you guys how to save a little bit on a budget, um, we have test fitted the factory truck manifolds and they do fit, um, leave plenty of room underneath the car to put an exhaust up to them. I ordered flanges for it so that we can 
start with our collectors and work down that way. Plan is for me to do the exhaust tentatively. We'll see how that goes. Um, but like I said, why spend money when we got the parts already? So we're going to go ahead. Um, like I said, I got, I test fitted them already and they leave plenty of room. Um, but I'm not happy with all the extra stuff on them. So I'm gonna show you how to shave headers and make them look better than factory. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get our headers or manifolds, sorry, manifolds and start shaving them. So I already got one all shaved up. I still gotta do some welding on it, but we'll take the other one off here and shave these factory truck manifolds. So as you can see, they fit. They uh, got a little clearance issue with that stud down there, but we're gonna just switch to regular hardware and that should take care of that problem. But as you can see, they're ugly. You know, the nasty casting marks on the side, these nasty nubs from the heat shielding on the factory. Um, so we're gonna cut all those off, shave those down, sand this whole thing down and make them look a lot better. Um, on this one, particularly, when I go to cut that nub off, it's gonna cut a hole in the manifold. Um, so that's where we're gonna have to go in and weld those back into place, um, fill those holes up. But we're gonna shave these and I'm gonna show you that process. Okay, so the first step to this, put your eyes on and your ears. This is gonna get loud. And be nice to your neighbors. Don't do this at midnight. It's late, but not too late right now. So be kind, be courteous. Because you might be able to replace your neighbors, but it's not that easy. So we're going to go down here with our uh, cutoff wheel and I'm going to cut those nubs off. So um, the reason we're going to cut those off is just to get a little bit more material off. So we're not grinding for hours. So let's get down here and cut these off. Okay, so we got those cut off. Let's see, right there. Got a little hole. That's where that one that I told you was gonna have a hole. And we cut our, got all our nubs taken off. So now um, you can go in with a grinder, like a grinding disc. We're gonna go in with a, what I call a flapper wheel. Grab one. This is a flapper disc. It's got layers on it. Um, just takes things off a little smoother. Like I said, you can rough this off with a grinder, but we're gonna go right to this. Okay, so we got them all grinded up and uh, flapper wheeled down. Uh, as you can see, that hole's a little bit bigger than it looked like before. Um, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my die grinder, a little carbide wheel, and just touch up some of these spots that I can't get with the grinder. 
Um, yeah, there's not too many. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chamfer this hole out so that I can weld it pretty nice. So um, I'm going to get going on it. Okay, as you can see, it's not a very clean job, but now we got this all smoothed out. We went over it with our uh, carbide, and now we're going to try to smooth these out a little bit more. Um, take our just a normal DA auto body sander, and this is 80 grit sandpaper. Just gonna smooth that out. Okay, now I got them all smoothed up with eighty grit. I'm going to go throw them in the blasting cabinet and get them ready to weld up them holes. Okay, so our next step was to get these things welded up. So with cast, you have to preheat them. So we preheated them till they're nice and cherry red. Then started pet filling our holes in with some weld. Obviously cast doesn't weld very well. So got her welded up, grinded her off, and we're on to the next step. Okay, so we got them back home now. Um, I got them ground off a little bit uh, where I welded them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip them over here and get them just a little bit of porting work on those those cylinders that I uh, I welded on just to smooth them out just a little bit. There's some stuff inside, so get them smoothed out, and then that's pretty much it for what I'm going to do with them right now. Uh, I'm going to finish smoothing them down, and there's a local guy in town that does some coating work. Uh, I think this is a good tryout for him, so I'll uh, give him a shot. So we're going to go ahead and I'll get a little bit of video of me doing this porting work on these cylinders. And yeah, pretty much it for this job. So we'll uh, get you down here. Okay, so after a little bit, it's like there's no hole there. So I'm going to finish, I'm gonna get these all sandblasted up, finish some sanding them a little bit. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna send them off and get them coated. So there's a local guy in town that does some powder coating and at least some other types of coating. So I'm gonna try him and get these coated and when I get them back I'll show you how they look and get them on the car so with that uh, might not be too interesting of an episode but I don't know some guys want to make their cast stuff look a little bit better 
I know I did a little bit of shaving and stuff on my spindles, which you guys didn't see. I did that prior to starting this this uh, um, channel. So, kind of the same type of deal. Just grind off what you don't want, cut off what you don't want, and smooth it all out. So, um, you can do it pretty much with anything. So. A lot of these show cars do full engines, intakes. If I wanted to remove the Holly logo off the intake manifold, the aluminum intake manifold, I could remove that off. It's all cast in there, but it just takes time. I mean, I could have gone through and smoothed out the whole entire engine. I'm not going to on this, but that's what these big guys are doing. So you guys can use it sparingly here and there you know like I said this is gonna save me a little bit of money um, on getting manifolds uh, especially since this isn't the end-all setup that I'm gonna want in this so um, I'm gonna want a transmission and then I'm gonna want to go to long tubes to match the engine that we build so um, with that like subscribe come back for more content leave me some comments in there i know i told you to call me an idiot call me something else this time i don't know so um yeah like what you're seeing come back um next episode my bulkhead fitting came in and we are going to send that wiring harness through the firewall and get our um poly terminator mounted up underneath the dash somewhere so um i believe i'm gonna end up using some of the leftover stuff that i used to use for uh rc cars either delrin or carbon fiber or we'll see but i'm gonna break you guys into my little desktop cnc router over there and yeah start making some parts so with that come back we'll see you down the road